stop, show me what you got, no you can't resist You know I'm ready for this, I just do what I do I ain't got nothing to prove, so just roll with this Yeah baby, roll with this Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Always appreciate it. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here, my name is Keith and this is Alien Drones. I do a lot of tech, drones, photography, tips and tutorials, and industry news. And if that's something that's of interest, you may want to click that subscribe. That'll let you know when there's new stuff that might be available to you. So let's get to it. Now I've been flying quads for a few years now. And one of the things that got me interested in quads was the different perspective that it allows you to have with regards to photography and videography. You get these views and pictures and things from a different perspective you never really got before, and it's really cool. And now if you've seen the FPV footage, you'll know that this footage is one step further and that it's more aggressive. It can go in between trees and branches and it's swooping around up next to your buildings and straight down, straight up. It is pretty amazing to watch some of these guys who are so talented. Now I admit, I have done a little bit of FPV flying, but I am certainly an amateur compared to most guys. So wouldn't it be cool if there was something that would train us a starter kit that would give us everything we need so we don't have to figure out what kind of batteries and what voltages and what current drain and what kind of goggles are gonna to connect to what controller and how that's gonna all work and what video feed. What if you just wanted to buy a kit, make it easy and see if you really like it? Well, the guys at Beta FPV have done just that. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the Cetus Pro, tell you all about it, what's in the box, how it works, and how it addresses new FPV pilots. And then in the next video, I'll actually go out and fly and you can learn with me. So let's just go through and talk about what's in the kit a little bit and I'll go through some of the cool features that it has. So first things first, you're gonna notice it comes in a dandy little kit. Now, the neat thing about that is this is everything. And I know if you've seen those awesome guys that take out the FPVs, they come with a back of a truck full of extra props and different types of motors and uh, controllers and different goggles to come up with it and wires and chargers and it is just amazing all the stuff that they bring out but they've got to bring out a whole trunk full of stuff. Now this is in one dandy little kit and it's so compact and nice and they've included everything you need. And it is packed in here so well that it, you've got to be impressed by what they've done here. But just look at this kit. Now this is really well packed in here. We have the controller over here. We have goggles already included in this kit. We have the drone itself over here with the camera installed. And we have accessory packages with tons of batteries. It came with a box with extra batteries in it. There's four batteries that came in this extra box. And down in this little compartment, we not only have two more batteries, we also have a very cool battery charger. You go ahead and plug this in USB and it'll charge two batteries at a time into this charger. So they go in here and they charge Really cool, everything you need is included in this kit. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you grab an FPV remote is that there's no display on it, as I mentioned, but you're gonna see a bunch of switches here on kind of on the front. Now what those switches do is allow you to change the modes when you can't see the remote because you have goggles impeding your view. So I took some time and I labeled these switches because I'm not used to having those. And as I mentioned, you guys are learning with me so I want to make sure that in an instant that I know which switch that I'm hitting so I don't do something by accident and I just cause a crash. So going around the drone, switch on the bottom is the arm switch that actually enables the motors on the drone body itself. The next one here is a normal sport and manual. The one on the bottom here, the switch on the lower right over here, is the turtle mode. And turtle mode allows us to recover a drone and start it if we happen to drop it on the ground and it tips upside down, we can actually turn it on and flip it over so that we can rearm the drone, start up and fly it back to us, for instance, if we're a little ways and it flipped upside down. The last switch here is a slow, medium and fast switch, similar to what you'd see on a lot of the regular quads. Now the goggles, of course, do fit over your eyes and you can see the image inside. And I'll try to get some shots of what that looks like here in a minute. But they're really, really pretty simple in that there's a USB charger to charge, there's an internal battery. And again, there's no SD card as I mentioned, so they don't have a way that you can save the video. So there's a switch on the side, which simply turns the goggles on and off. And I'll show what that looks like here in a second. Uh, and there's three buttons here as well, which will be how we're going to actually connect to the drone. So that allows us to check frequencies and uh, connect. And, and we'll do that in a second so you can see what that looks like. 
Now the drone body itself is a little different than we're used to in that we're used to kind of plugging in a battery and then have it snap in and it comes with these types of batteries, which in this case, this is a 450 milliamp hour battery. And there can be different sizes and different milliamp draws, again, depending upon what you're doing, but these come with the batteries that are made for it. So one of the things you're gonna notice right away uh, with these 450 milliamp hour batteries, for instance, is that you're not gonna get 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes of flight. You might get uh, three or four minutes of flight uh, per battery. When you get larger drones, you get more expensive ones, you can put larger batteries on it, they can carry more weight. The batteries themselves can get larger and they can get more distance. But in smaller drones like this, it's not uncommon to have a three or four minute of battery life per flight. So to power this drone up instead of a button, you actually plug the battery in and what we'll do is we'll slide it in place first. And one thing I did notice is that when you try to plug this battery in, it kind of gets stuck just because it's so tight. So make sure when you do that, you make sure the uh, edges of the battery itself get past all of the uh, guards because you want to make sure that the battery is centered because you want to make sure that your center of gravity is good or it won't be balanced and it will try to uh, run away in a direction without and you'll fight it to try to keep it in position a lot a lot more so i'm going to go ahead and give this a little push here so now you saw that it did push in this a little bit more which means that it's in the correct place so that we're more balanced now we have to plug in the wire here. And of course, I made sure when I plugged it in that we had it oriented correctly, but when we plug it in, it's instantly gonna come on. You'll notice the uh, blue lights here flashing. Uh, so we can go ahead and set this down. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn on the remote here as well, hold that on. There we go. So the remote then itself is connected. You can see the light on as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect the goggles. So we're gonna turn the switch on on the goggles. And I notice inside of here uh, that we do have a little image in here. And what we're going to do is since we have this all connected, we're gonna go ahead and push the middle button here and allow it to auto scan for connect. All right, so what happened? Do you notice it beeped? Uh, but right now, uh, there is a really nice picture uh, coming from the FPV in the goggles here. And what I'll do is I will show you guys uh, what that looks like here in a moment. But I do have a really clear picture of what the drone itself is seeing. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick arm so you can see what this looks like. So we turn this on. Of course, you're going to see that the props start spinning. And that's true. The props are now spinning. So let's go ahead and we'll just take it up here so you can see uh, what it does here. Just quick. There we go, we can see the uh, hovering really nice here. There we go, our first flight with an FPV drone. So because we did a couple minute flight here while I was testing it, I wanted to show you that the battery indeed did go down. You can see this on the little digital display. So if I put a battery that is fully charged in here, we'll notice that we're at four and a quarter volts, which is more full charge uh, for these types of batteries. So it is, it is pretty cool that they give you one here with the display. So I found that this is really fun to fly. It's a whole different experience. Uh, I had some family around when I was trying it in the living room the first time. And boy, I tell you what, if you want to feel like a rookie after flying a regular drone for years, boy, this is the way to do it. It's a lot of fun. You run into a lot of things and that's okay. That's normal. You know, kudos to Beta FPV uh, for a kit like this. That includes everything. You don't have to try to figure out what parts and what size battery and how to balance it and what size props, all that kind of stuff. It's all in one kit and a real nice spot for you. And again, it is really fun and you'll find out right away uh, if you outgrow this and you want to go to a fancier one or you know what if it's not for you It's not so expensive that it's really going to sting if you decide, you know, uh, it just isn't for me 
So make sure, go check these guys out. Uh, again, I'll put those links in the description so that you can check it out. So as I mentioned, this video is just gonna talk about the drone a little bit and if I think it's even worthwhile, which of course I believe it is. But the next video, we're gonna go through and do some more flying into different modes and learn a, bit, a little bit about the technique. So you're gonna learn with me uh, how to fly uh, this FPV and uh, learn a little bit more about the hobby. So again, I know there's a lot of guys that follow this channel that are really good with FPV. Please be kind. Uh, as with anything, when you start a hobby, uh, you're not perfect the first time you pick it up. And of course, you end up crashing and learning. That's one of the best ways. That's what's so cool about this product. You do crash it, quote unquote. Uh, you're not going to be damaging it. And oh, geez, uh, my first flight, I ran it into the wall and now I have to spend uh, $50 on new props. Uh, this is going to withstand it pretty easily. So it's, it's a really nice product. So of course, I really do appreciate you guys' time. And if you did find something of use with this video, make sure you hit that like. So thank you very much again for watching. And until next time and next video, good flying.